everybody, it's Like Horse Lover 200 here again with yet another unboxing video. So for today's unboxing video, I have a package from GHS Tax Shop. So a while back, me and her had done a tack trade, and since then, both her tack and my tack have improved. So we thought it would be fun to do a second one. So this package from her had just arrived today in the mail, and I am super excited to see what she sent me. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so straight out of the package, we have a huge bag of beautiful tack. I cannot wait to get that blanket on the horse. I love that light blue border with the sparkles around the outside. That is so pretty. So um, there's also a note there, and then on the front of the bag, it says Golden Horse Stables Tack Shop. So she has a tack shop on Etsy, and I will link it down in the description below. So I am super excited to get this tack on some horses. So I will be right back. I am going to go grab some ponies. All right, so I'm back now, and I just kind of randomly picked some horses. It looks like there's a few different sizes in here. So that looks like an average blanket, and then some full blankets. So I just got a variety of different sizes. So I'm actually gonna take the tack out of the bag right now. This is a really nice bag, by the way. Dump everything out. Oh, how cool. And the note. So I just read the note and it's super sweet. Thank you so much. And I do not mind at all that the halter and lead rope sets had to be changed to full blankets because I actually need full blankets more than I do halter and lead rope sets. But I am so excited. I just gotta decide what we're gonna put on first. So I think we'll do um, the bareback riding sets because it looks like there's two of them here. So I believe these will fit on average adult horses. So I have Dixie. So I'm gonna start with this pink and a lime green one. putting the uh, lime green and pink bareback set on Dixie and I think she looks so cute in the colors. I really like her bareback pads. I just like how well they fit and I also like how she kind of like shapes them like how she v this out so it fit around the withers really good. So that is really cool and I also like the bridle she included with it. Um, this actually almost looks like a bitless bridle. So that's cool, one of them side pool bitless bridles. Um, maybe that's what it's supposed to be, I'm not sure. I didn't quite check. But yeah, I really like it and I think I'll have it as a bitless bridle because I think like like the bitless bridle and the bareback pad are really like two cool things to put together. So that is the pink and lime green one. As I said earlier, I really like the colors. And then while I was at it, I also went and went ahead and put the light blue in a royal one. Um, light blue and royal blue bareback pad on Starlight. And I really like the colors on her. So once again, it's just like the pink and lime green one. Um, yeah, so super awesome. Just in different colors, so it's really cute. And then I was gonna put the bridle on Starlight, but the nose band was just a little bit too small for her. So I went ahead and put it on Wildfire, and it fits him really good. Um, when I was putting it on, these two little ribbons slipped out of the jump ring, and 
uh, yeah, so I couldn't quite put it on all the way, but that is totally fine. I can fix that really easy with my glue gun, so it's nothing to worry about. Easy fix, no big deal, so yeah, but he looks really good in these colors. So yeah, once again, really cute little bridle. All right, so now we're going to move on to some blankets, and these are, are what I am most excited for because they just look so cute. So we're going to start with this little blanket. Um, I believe it's supposed to be a pony blanket for one of the mini Shetlands, but I just want to see if it will fit on Lucky, um, my uh, half layer full. So I think this will, these colors will look really cute on him. So I just out of curiosity want to see because it'd be really neat if it did and it looks like it will so that'll be good so in our last trade she sent me a blanket similar to this one um, it was white and yellow and it had the little the really cute little gold spots on it which I really like I'm so glad she put it on this one as well because I really like them on the last one. So these, this fits Lucky pretty good. It will probably fit the mini Shetland a lot better, but I just wanted to put it on him because I didn't really want to dig out my mini Shetland because as you all know, my horses are kind of packed away right now. So yeah, Lucky here was just on the top. So yeah, I really like this blanket. I love the Velcro. It makes it so easy to put on. So hopefully it's focused. There we go. So I'll, once again, I also like the gold little polka dot spots. Those are cool. They're like, um, yeah, I wonder how she made that. She probably took that liquid, um, that liquid sparkly stuff, that glue, and made those spots. That's a really good idea, and I really like it. It's so cute. Oh, yeah, it's a lot like the last one she sent me, but that's okay because I'm glad she sent me another one. That is adorable. Okay, so I could probably talk all day about that, but let's move on to the next one. So let's do this one next. Um, yeah, this is gorgeous. I believe this is for an average adult. It looks like a small average adult, so I'm gonna go see if I can dig one of them out. Again, I just went ahead and put the blankets on all the horses. So we're gonna start here with this lime green one with the light blue border that has the little sparkles on it. And this is probably like my favorite thing so far. Yeah, I really like this. It's probably like my favorite thing so far. I just love the little sparkles on the ribbon and it's so cute. And um, I put it on Buck here because he's kind of like a small horse. It's a touch short for him, but it'll probably fit my Arabians a little better. But um, yeah, that's okay. And I also really like how it's Velcro, and it's just a really cute little blanket. Yeah, so I cannot wait to get my stable set back up in our new house, even though it might be a little while, um, because then all the horses can wear their blankets again. And, so it'll be fun. But yeah, this super adorable blanket. And then I also went ahead and dug out my mini Shetland, even though I didn't really want to. I saw this blanket and I was like, yeah, that's probably gonna fit best on the mini Shetland. So I found Sugar here and I'm glad I went ahead and dug her out because she looks really cute in this little blanket. Um, the Velcro strap here is just a touch short, but it might fit, uh, What's the mini Shetland stallion's name? Gee, I can't quite remember what I named him. It was, ah, uh, I can't quite remember. If I see him, I would remember what his name was. But um, the mini Shetland stallion would probably feel a little better on. But um, yeah, she looks so cute in this. I love the colors. And it's Velcro, which I really like, once again. So yeah, just another really adorable little blanket. And then lastly for blankets, we have, um, this one is an average adult blanket. 
and it's really, really cute. I love the colors. The teal with the light purple border is really pretty. And it's not a Velcro, it's one of the ones with the clips. And it was actually fairly quick and easy to put on. I really like that. So it's a really pretty blanket and I like how she made it so it was really adjustable. So like um, with the uh, jump rings here, there's one in the front and one in the back. So if the horse is a little bit smaller, um, you can just put it on the back or if the horse is a little bigger, you can use the front ring here. So it's just a little bit adjustable so you can make it bigger or smaller. And that's the same down here. And for this horse, I had to keep it on the first ring. So yeah, this is a really pretty blanket as well. Whoops. <laughs> so it looks really good on Pearl here and it'll probably be, um, this blanket will probably be her blanket when I get my stable set back up. All right, so next we have matching halters and lead ropes for these two blankets because I almost forgot, but these blankets are supposed to be stable sets. So there's a matching halter and lead rope from Buck and there's also one for Pearl. All right, so these are the halters on the horses and I really like them, especially this one on Buck because it fits him so well and they're just both really, really cute. And they also match the stable sets perfectly. And then Pearl's halter here, it's really nice as well and it fits her really well as well. So that's good. And then of course they both come with matching lead ropes and they all have little loops on the end so the Schleich people can lead them. And then lastly, she sent me a sweet little surprise. So she sent me this little lollipop, which was so thoughtful of her. And look at it, guys. It's got this really cool rainbow design in it, and it's even in a heart shape. So it's really pretty, and thank you so much. All right, everybody. So that's it for today's unboxing video. I am super excited about my new tack, and I really, really love it. So of course, I want to give a huge thanks to GHS Tack Shop for the amazing tack. Make sure you go tech, check out her tack shop on Etsy. So it's GHS Tack Shop on Etsy.com. So yeah, and I don't believe she has a YouTube or an Instagram as far as I know. So yeah, just make sure you go check out her tack shop. And yeah, so thank you all so much for watching this video. Make sure you comment, like, and of course, subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one. And yeah, so I will see you all next time. 